getting a chance to recreate one of the most iconic buildings in the world was really inspiring for us. I'm also proud of my team because we worked so good together. And looking back at these sites is very valuable. There's still some stuff to be found and some great detail to be discovered. Our project was about to build Porta Nigra. Porta Nigra is the landmark of our city in Trier. It's also UNESCO World Heritage. It's interesting that about the different of times, different epochs, the Porta Nigra changed from a gate to a church and then back to a gate again. We chose the Roman Colosseum because we've read in all our history textbooks about how so many naval battles were recreated. Romans would go there for entertainment. We wanted to kind of recreate that. Our project was to recreate Shurijo Castle. The castle was the residence of the royal family, and at the same time, it was the heart of the governing institution of Ryukyu Kingdom. We were all shocked when this beautiful castle was burned down in 2019. The Hain Gardens are one of the seven ancient wonders of the world, and for us, the most mysterious one. We don't have proof that they ever existed. We only have some ancient texts, so we couldn't rely on them 100%. To solve this, we had to use our imagination and creativity to create a model that we believe the Hain Gardens look like. Pompeii is one of the last remaining sites where you can actually find evidence and signs of how societies used to live in classical times. It's a shame it was destroyed by a volcano. Our project is on the Marvala structure of Konak Sun Temple, which is dedicated to the Hindu sun god, and it illustrates the intricacy of Kalinga style architecture or Odisha style architecture. Due to the ongoing pandemic, we couldn't meet each other, so we had to work remotely. We used the 3D Experience platform, cloud-based system, to divide the work into smaller pieces. You have everything that you need on one place, like project planning to build the virtual reality. Among all these, we use 3D part design and assembly design to do the structural designs, and we use X design and human design. By placing 3D Play widget next to X-Design widget, we were able to compare the data we created in X-Design while keeping documents and photos open in 3D Play. Technically, we should be able to collaborate with each other on the same model, so maybe one person, when they're doing a column, one person is working on the base. So we could adjust accordingly to improve the quality of the model. The experience really showed us the power of working online and working together in that sense. It's the only reason we were able to accomplish what we did. The support from Dassault Systems was very helpful for the beginning. They will teach us how to use textures. Because of the unique shape of the roof, we had a hard time making it look like a real thing. When we had problems, our mentors were there to help. We also posted questions on the 3D Swim community experience the 3D model through VR. Incredible experience. I hope you can feel the same thing that I feel when I stand in front of the Porta Nigra. That was the point of the Learning Heritage Challenge. It's to recreate something historically, but using your own imagination too. The only progress is human. Dassault System.